This is my Snapchat account. I open it first thing when I wake up in the morning. My entire life is on here. I have photos of the fancy salad I made for dinner last night, videos of me wearing pajamas, trying to remember the dance choreography I just came up with, random selfies with my boyfriend's parents, and my daily thoughts on everything. My Snapchat memories have more photos and videos than my entire camera roll. It's my favorite part of the app, Capturing memories that usually aren't the most, let's say, professional or attractive photos. I use Snapchat all the time, all day long. It's casual. I send really bad selfies to a few close friends and some friends that I don't really stay in touch with unless you count our random selfies back and forth every day. But you know what I love about Snapchat. It is my outlet for all the stupid stuff that makes up my life. But no one can just search my name and find me on Snapchat. My boss can't just search up my account and immediately see all the posts that I have. I can choose my friends on Snapchat, aka the people who can see my dumb life. I post on my story every few days, but on my private story all the time. Only my close friends can see my private story, so there's more dumb stuff on there. But I'm a bit obsessed looking through who has viewed my story. I'll stalk the list, see what they thought of it. Although personally, I'm not very good at watching other people's stories. My close friends pop up first, but other than that, I'll tap through a lot of Snapchat stories because I honestly don't care that much about what's going on in other people's lives. I'm really on Snapchat for the memories that I capture. The funny, the ugly, and the real memories. That's my Snapchat in a nutshell. Every day. Sleep, eat, Snapchat, repeat. I post more than I consume. On a totally different note, let's look at my Instagram. Not that I'm some model on Instagram, but let's take a look at some of my photos. I don't post on here daily like I do on Snapchat, but I do scroll through other people's posts. Instagram has kind of a higher standard than Snapchat, you could say. Everyone posts cute photos of themselves, like photos from their sorority recruitment, their weekend with their friends, and honestly, when I post, I kind of post the same stuff. My Instagram is a highlight reel. It's not my real, daily, authentic life. Photos on my Instagram are usually important occasions in my life when I'm also looking my best. They're also edited. Now, Instagram is a lot easier to search someone up as long as you know their name. I follow two of my bosses on Instagram and I keep my page public to keep myself accountable with what I post even if it's on my Instagram story. I post on my Instagram story more often than I make an actual post. I watch Instagram stories probably more than I watch Snapchat stories. I consume more media on Instagram than I post, the opposite of what I do on Snapchat. Instagram stories are usually more informative, maybe motivational, or just casual posts that didn't officially make the gram. Lately, I've been using my stories to promote my photography page, aka a little photo portfolio for future clients. The main cause for my incredibly different types of posts on these platforms is primarily based on who's watching them. Snapchat is for my friends and people my age, where Instagram has more of my family members and bosses on there. I convey myself incredibly different on these two platforms. Instagram is reserved for the more important and aesthetic photos that my family and bosses will see. They're up on my page forever, where Snapchat captures my real life, the good and the ugly, and disappears in 24 hours. 